Well, 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 why? Welcome back to another Team Fortress 2 video. As we do at the end of every year, beginning of the new year, we're going to take a look back at my tier 2 loadouts for the year, see what's changed between now and last year, and then in the next year we can see if the loadouts change again. Now, as time has gone on, I've become more and more set with the loadouts that I've got in Team Fortress 2, so there's not going to be many changes, I think. I have changed a few loadouts, and with the recent cosmetic cases, to be fair, quite a few things have changed because there have been some very nice cosmetics recently, so we're going to take a look at that. And yeah, just talk about uh, what's going on. Maybe some of the history behind some of the loadouts, because some are very historic. So yeah, let's just take a look, shall we? So we're going to start off with the Scout. Now this is a class I don't play very often, but I do find myself fiddling with these loadouts quite quite a lot as well. So here we have my main Scout loadout. This is the one I will be using most of the time if I'm ever designed to play Scout, unless we're on MVM. So I'm rocking the strange blue Mew well-worn Scattergun uh, with the Festivizer on it. I think it's a nice skin despite the wear. I like cats. <laughs> That's pretty much all there is to it. Might try and get a factory new one, but again... Don't know how much they cost, so maybe not. But yeah, this loadout has been through quite a few changes recently. Uh, we're currently rocking the Flapjack, which I think is a very cool Scout cosmetic. Quite an old one as well, but I think it's one of his coolest jacket cosmetics, to be honest. But I did struggle creating a nice-looking Scout loadout this year, I will admit. And then we're going with the Fuel Injector using the Running on Fumes style. Just it's got all those pipes coming out of there. I think it looks cool. And then we're topping it all off with the That 70s Chapau. I don't know how you say the word. This used to be painted in lime green, but I've recently scrubbed the paint off and it actually looks a lot better and works a lot better in this loadout with this colour scheme. And then move swiftly on to a loadout that I know has not changed. It is my secondary scout loadout. This used to be my main scout loadout and I'm a big fan of the cosmetic set that I created. The Fed Fighting Fedora, the Paisley Pro and the Macho Man Glasses, one of my favourite cosmetics. Gives me that like 80s, maybe 70s, 80s vibe. So yeah, just a cool looking loadout, I think. Very simple, but I, I can't see myself changing it anytime soon. To loadout C. Now, this one is a loadout that is definitely going to see some changes because it's where I just threw it together. It was originally made as the Milkman set, so we had the shortstop on here. Yeah, so this is normally what it looks like, rocking the shortstop, the winger and the holy mackerel. Why? I couldn't tell you. So all I could say really is definitely going to change. But um, for now, this is what it looks like. And finally, my MVM loadout. So a little thing about me with all my MVM loadouts, I like to have at least one Robo hat in the set. And for this one, we have Ye Oiled Baker Boy. I think it works well. And then we've got the Hot Heels with the Delinquents Down Vest. Just creates a very cool looking loadout, to be honest. I think if we just get the shoes in as well, you know, it looks pretty cool. It looks like he could be fighting robots in his spare time. And then we're rocking the Soda Popper, which I think is the best um, scattergun for MVM. You know, you get the hype boost, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, smaller clip size, but you're not really going to be focusing on damaging robots when you're playing MVM as the scout. I got it with a nice Night Owl skin as I try to get all MVM weapons in that skin. And then we've got the Mad Milk, you know, for the slowness on those giant scouts. And then the Fan of War does mini crits, which is, helps your team out. So yeah, probably uh, the most used scout loadout in my set because I just... I play MVM quite a bit, but I'd rather not play Scout. I can do it if the need arises. But yeah, there's my Scout loadouts. Very happy with most of them. It's just the third loadout which I think needs work on, but not really any cosmetics that speak to me at the moment. So we'll wait and see what the new year brings. And then we move on to the Soldier. Now, this is a class that I've been playing more and more. He's slowly creeping on Pyro for my most played class. But yeah, I just enjoy playing Soldier. He's a very fun class to play, quite easy to play as well. So if I'm just looking to go out and do some stomping, this is probably the class I'll be using. So we start off with the, the Thousand Yard Stare, unusual. Um, one of the best cosmetics from that 2021 drop. And I got it with the stunning unusual effect because I just think it looks really cool. I just am a fan of the unusual effect, fan of the cosmetic. I think they will both work really well together. Like the guy's wide eyes, he's stunned. And I think, you know, it looks good. And then we're rocking the Chaser body cosmetic. Just a very cool soldier coat. One of the infamous coats started in 2022. We started seeing a nice, a nice selection of coats for each class. And this is the soldier's entry and I think it looks really nice. And then the Cuban Bristol Crisis as well. Just a very solid beard cosmetic. Makes the whole thing. Wow, looks wonderful. I'm a fan of it. Can't see it changing anytime soon. And we are rocking the epic specialised Killstreak Silver Bot Killer Rocket Launcher Mark 1. Yeah, my highest killed strange weapon I think that I own. It's definitely up there with the Degreaser. Killstreak. Festive 
shotgun. The limited edition festive with the yellow text because I unboxed it, you know. That's how cool I am. And then the escape plan is just my go-to soldier melee. Gets that speed boost when you're damaged and you can run away and get some health. Lovely soldier loadout. Served me well for many, many years and I don't really deviate much from it. And this is my former most used soldier loadout. I've kept it pretty much as it was. So we've got the festive sand cannon rocket launcher, still one of the coolest rocket launcher skins in the game. Definitely up there with like the high roller and the, the war eagle and stuff. And then obviously that shotgun again and the escape plan again. We're rocking the shogun's shoulder guard, the nuke and the classified coif. Yeah, just a very solid soldier loadout. Can't really go wrong with it. If I just want to play with a different rocket launcher, a different looking rocket launcher, I will just hop on this class sometimes, but it's mainly the first loadout that I'm rocking. But this used to be my main soldier loadout. And this is the Road to Hail's Own loadout. Again, same weapons, different strange rocket launcher. And then we're going for the close quarters cover for the hair. I think it looks very cool. Works well with the Macho Man. Gone style without the bandana because it did clip with the glasses. Um, I think that creates a cool... Uh, like 80s action hero sort of vibe and then the veterans attire just a very cool soldier coat that i was using before the chaser on my main loadout and i want to keep it going because i really like it and then finally the loadout which has remained unchanged for the longest time and that is my mvm soldier loadout we're rocking the soldier's spark plug my robo cosmetic for this set the cold snap coat which i unboxed in at the end of the line update very cool and then the lumbricus lid because i just think it looks funny not a fan of the eyebrows but still very cool it's got the holy hand grenades as well if you really need to see off some robots. Yep, rocking the black box with the Night Owl Mark II skin. Tried to get that for all the enemy weapons as I mentioned. The buff banner to boost my teammates. We'll change that out if need be. And then the disciplinary action to get them a bit of speed boost. Lovely stuff. Yeah, again, very solid loadouts. Can't really see them changing much at all. Don't feel the need to change any of them to be honest. But obviously we don't know what the next year will bring. So we could be surprised with another beautiful soldier coat. But can it beat the chaser? We'll have to see because it's a very tough cosmetic to beat. And then we move on to Pyro. Now this is my main. I am a Pyro main. Yeah, I just really enjoy playing Pyro. This year I experimented with different weapons. As you can see I've got the Dragon's Fury equipped. A weapon that I didn't really use that much prior to this this year. But I've started using it a bit more and it's quite fun to be fair. So we're rocking the Dragon Slayer Dragon's Fury. If you're going to have a Dragon's Fury it might as well be the Dragon Slayer man. Because the skin is so cool. But in faction as well. Because you know this is what I do. And then obviously rocking the shotgun again. This thing goes through so many of my loadouts man. It is just I just love using this weapon. And then the Volcano Fragment has a very special place in my heart. I do love the shop and Volcano Fragment it is uh, an amazing looking weapon. And quite effective as well. And then in terms of cosmetics, I went for a more medieval themed loadout with this one. So we've got the Dark Felkirk Helm, Unusual Strange, which I unboxed in a video. That was one of my best unboxes I've ever done. I used the open visor style, but the closed one is pretty fun as well. And then the Kazan Karategi, or Kazan Karategi, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but that was released last year, which is another cool body cosmetic. Um, and I think it goes well with the, the vibes I was trying to build. So with the, the orbiting fire and then the, the like singed almost look of this cosmetic and then finally the charge chainmail to really top things off add to that medieval fantasy theme just a very cool set of cosmetics of pirate the feet look a bit bit long other than that i think it's a very cool loadout very fun weapon to use i think it's my newest pirate loadout and you know it's, it's fun and then we move on to what used to be my main pyro loadout so we've got the strange degree which i've named mot failure very funny name because it is a car exhaust with 4,000 kills on it so not as many as the rocket launcher but still up there and i've got the the reader's choice the hot case and the cotton head just to create this very uh, interesting looking loadout i feel like this is a uh, clothes you would have seen people wear in the 50s so that's the kind of vibe i went with can't really explain it they just work well together and well, quite funny as well if i'm gonna be real looks like uh, a detective of the era maybe fun little uh, pyro loadout there my second most used pyro loadout but um yeah man degreaser is cool it was my number one flamethrower until I uh, spent a pretty penny on a different one. So uh, we'll go see that one now, actually. Yes, this is my main pyro loadout rocking the premium arson machine Australian flamethrower. Now, I've not used it that much, I will admit. Only 215 kills on it, but I don't play pyro that much recently. To be honest, I'm more of a soldier guy at the moment, but this will this weapon does get its uses. Obviously, the shotgun, my professional kill streak, Australian extinguisher with the fire horns kill streak which i completely forgot i had i'm not gonna lie i completely forgot about this kill streak so we'll have to get that activated at some point but the cosmetics have not changed in a while so we've got my peak unusual the purple energy handyman's handle my favorite unusual in the game the purple energy effect is just 
top notch. Um, it's a shame you can't get the newer effects on it, but it looks class anyway. And they got the binoculars, the strange binoculars. Um, they just look funny, give my pyro a very interesting look that I quite like. And then my strange dead of night, which is just a very, very solid cosmetic that has seen less use as those new cosmetics have been released. But it used to be up there with one of my most used cosmetics, I won't lie. Hiding grenades as well, just because it looks cooler that way. And the one which has received the most recent changes, yes, this is my MVM loader. I did touch on it in my unboxing video, but I am now rocking the Torch's trench coat as a part of this MVM loadout. And I think it just increases the look of it tenfold compared to the hot case that I was rocking. So yeah, World War One vibes for this loadout. Got the proof of purchase, the Torch's trench coat. So mixing the uh, the allies and the axis there, and then the mayor mask just fits the vibes, you know. Even as a um, promotional item for dishonored i want to say this will look cool and then we're rocking the nostromo napalm now this does change to the phlogistonator depending on what wave we're going through in mvm because i do think having an air blast is very fun increase that air blast force and just push giants into holes but if there's a tank we'll switch to the flog and then the gas passer of course for that explode on um ignition thing and yeah my mvm blowout changed recently but i can't see it changing much more in the future because it's just a very solid loadout really fits the vibe of mvm so i'll take it and then we move on to demo man and we're starting off with my medieval knight themed loadout he just looks like a knight that's all there is to this with my professional killstreak islander i do have a video planned where i try and go godlike with this in the future somehow not sure when or if that'll come out but there's there's plans <laughs> and then the festive charging targe just because it's cool and the festive design is fun as well I remember when items had unique festive designs. What a time, man. What a time. And then we move on to my secondary demo my loadout. This isn't the one that I use the most. This one I will often change out what weapons I'm using here. But for now, we're rocking the Strange Iron Bomber, which I have not used at all. The Titaner and the Islander again. The Knight Bane Brim. The Bearded Bombardier. Very cool demo man cosmetic. And then the Man of the Seven Seas, which I unboxed in late summer 2014. This loadout doesn't see much use, but um, it looks cool. And then we move on to my main demo man loadout, but this is the Strange Iron Bomber, which I haven't used. The Strange Quickie Bomb Launcher, which again, I haven't really used. And then finally, the unusual Horseless Headless Horseman's Head Taker, crafted by yours truly. But yeah, we're rocking the Sophisticated Smoker, the Summer Shades and the Cool Breeze. Just think it's a very solid demo man loadout. I don't think it's changed between last year, but either way, just looks cool and probably won't change unless we get a very cool demo man's cosmetic but we're yet to be blessed with that but i don't really play demo man much anyway so it doesn't really matter i guess and then finally the mvm loadout now in one of the rare instances that i do play demo man and on the rare instance i do play him on mvm this is what i rock so i've got the butcher bird grenade launcher just a very cool looking skin that i mean i don't really use it but it looks cool so it gets a run out in mvm looks similar to the night owl so i'll allow it then the scottish resistance because you get those extra sticky bombs um, and you can put them in zones so you don't have to detonate them all at once. And then, of course, the Islander again. In terms of cosmetics, no Rebo cosmetic for this set, just like the Pyro, but I think the vibes, like the blast defense, fills that vibe for me. So I'm allowing it. I mean, it's my own loadouts. What, why do I have to justify it to myself? I don't know. And then the Hurt Locker, which is just a beefier vest, vest for the Demo Man. And then Double Dog Dare Demo Pants, which I unboxed at the end of the line to just put together this very solid, bulky looking Demo Man. You know, he's ready to blow up some robots, which is what we're about here. And then we move on to the heavy weapons guy. Now, I've started playing heavy a bit more this year. Not too much, but I sometimes I like to hop on him. He's quite fun, especially in MVM. Definitely in MVM. If I'm playing MVM this year, I'm playing heavy. But this is my main heavy loadout if I'm not playing MVM. We're rocking the strange killstreak festive Mr. Cuddles minigun. Look at it. Look at this thing, man. This thing is absolutely beautiful. It's a cat. It's got a cat sticker on it. It's such a it's such a beautiful minigun. I look at his little face there, man. Oh, man, I love it. And then in terms of cosmetics, we're rocking the nuke with the Sart Platinum and the Hog Heels. This was recently updated by myself um, because I wasn't really a fan of what I was rocking previously. You know, the Jungle Booty. It's a fun cosmetic, don't get me wrong, but I wanted to change the vibes for this loadout. So this is what we're rocking currently. But the Jungle Booty wasn't gone for long because this is where it finds itself now in my secondary loadout, purely just to preserve my 
first ever unusual you've heard the story a million times but i got it from a twitch giveaway pretty much um rocking the spectacularly lethal kill streak gold bot killer minigun mark 2 which i didn't realize had so many kills on it jungle booty um, pugilist protector and the black bash 2021 just a cool looking badge to support my homies you know how it is and then um, probably one of my more iconic loadouts i'd say seen by at least a thousand people but this is my donald trump heavy Yes, so I created this loadout as a part of my one key challenge that I did with Pyrotro over on his channel a few years ago now. Yeah, I've just preserved it because that was quite a fun period. One of my, well, I don't want to say greatest achievements, but something I'm still amazed that happened, to be honest, because I look up to Pyrotro. He was a very cool TF2 creator when he made TF2 videos. And I got on his channel, which to me was a, a very big achievement. So I've kept this as a nice piece of history for myself. Um, the make two foot great again sign just the edge the tip of the iceberg but yeah donald trump heavy funny meme even if donald trump isn't re relevant anymore i think it looks funny nonetheless and then finally the heavy loader that i use the most this is my mvm heavy rocking the brass beast night owl of course with the banana and the fists of steel no real thought behind the, behind the banana it could be the sandwich but i just think the banana more unique and then the fist of steel because look at all those the damage resistance man range sources keep me alive um, but yeah we're using the heavy heating in the um was it arctic style because it just looks very cool very bulky cosmetic makes the heavy big and strong to the fight robots goes well with the polar bear as well with miami knights because this was the hat i was using the most heavy so i thought might as well get a little unusual for it and it looks really cool along with the cuban bristol crisis just creates a very tough very solid looking heavy who's gonna crush tiny little robots and use their hands as fists but yeah can't really see these heavy loadouts changing that much to be honest maybe the second one to make a more cohesive looking loadout but that is a bit of a stretch to be honest because i don't really use it at all so yeah i'm very happy with my heavy loadouts they're solid and then we want to engineer and we go to my gunslinger loadout we're rocking obviously the festive shotgun the kappa and the gunslinger as i mentioned this was actually a loadout you saw me create live during the unboxing video i did and i've kept it as it was because i think it looks very cool i've given him the stogie back instead of deleting it but yeah, I think this is a very cool looking engineer loadout. Yeah, that's all I really have to say. It just looks cool. Then we move on to this fella. Um, not really sure what to call this. This is the the Widowmaker loadout, shall we say. Who knows? It just changes with my vibes, you know what I'm saying? Um, pistol, bot killer, wrench. I think the bot killer wrenches look very cool. Just having the robot's head as the actual wrench head. Very fun. And then rocking the sophisticated smoker. The underminer's overcoat, which I think is a very, very cool engineer cosmetic. Just look at that, very, very nice looking. Works well with this set and then the Idea Tube. Uh, just because I like the cosmetic really and I wanted to work into a loadout. I'm just a big fan of the Idea Tube. I think it just looks very fun. And then this is probably going to be my main quote unquote engineer loadout. We're rocking the, the shotgun, the pistol and the festivized Jag. Yeah, very solid. Shotgun, of course. Mainstay of my loadouts. The unusual timeless topper with the Star Storm Insomnia effect. One of my favorite effects ever added to the game along with Purple Energy. The Gold Digger, classically Uncle Dane Beard, and then the Dead of Night, just because it looks very cool. That's all I really have to say. <laughs> and this is probably my most used engineer loadout, MVM loadout. We're rocking the Night Owl Mark II Rescue Ranger, Festive Wrangler, and the Jag again. And then the Texas Tin Gallon as my Robo Hat, painted in brown to look more like a cowboy hat. And um, the Western Wraps to add to the cowboy vibe, and that is all topped off with a grey scotch saver solid i like keeping my mvm loadouts beards i'm not sure if you've noticed but i like to give them beards to really you know add to the uh, the harsh conditions they're going through fighting off these robots but yeah very solid loadouts can't really see my engineer loadouts changing at all i'm very happy with them but again i didn't see my first loadout changing and then the smithmas case has dropped so you know anything is possible then move on to the medic now while i did start playing tf2 as a medic main i don't play medic much at all nowadays sometimes in mvm but i prefer to avoid it if i can um so this is loadout a doesn't really see much use as it is it's got the strange puffed practitioner along with the cold front commander and the surgical survivalist i think it's a very fun looking medic loadout with the blood sorger the carbonator bot killer medium mark one and the uber saw anyway we move swiftly on to my world war one themed medic loadout now i put on the record <laughs> did not support the germans in world war one but uh they had a cool vibe Anyway, we're rocking the Crusaders crossbow. This is the Ironwood variant, but I do have the festive one, which I switch to from time to time. That same medigun and the same Ubersaw. Rocking the Drab Tincture Prussian Pickle Hub. The Blighted Beak. 
and the Scourge of the Skies, which is a very, very, very cool looking medic cosmetic, despite the German vibes. I think it's very solid, and that is why I created this nice looking loadout. I'll say it, it looks nice. But uh, I do not hold any sympathies for the Germans in Order 1 or Order 2. Just just putting that out there, okay? I just think it looks cool, all right? And then we move on to loadout C. Now, I created this loadout purely because it looks cool. Uh, we are rocking the default syringe gun, you know. Don't know why, <laughs> but but we are. Uh, the vaccinator, because sometimes you just want to experiment with a different medigun. And then the festive bone saw, because it looks cool. And then we're rocking the, a brush with death, a very, very hard medic cosmetic. It has no reason to go this hard, but it does. So, of course, you got to rock it somewhere. The Vive la France, which uh, creates a very interesting looking moustache with the brush for death. You can't really see the French one in there, but I can assure you it's in there. And then the Wooly Pulley in the formal style, just because it looks so hard. Medic looks amazing like this. And yeah, I think this is a very cool looking medic cosmetic. You can't really go wrong. I mean, this whole set looks pretty solid. In, in my humble opinion, you know, the guy that created this loadout. But yeah, it looks fun. And the, yeah, the Vaccinator um, med pack. Very interesting. And finally, probably my most used medic loadout is the MVM loadout. So we are rocking the Crusader's Crossbow, the Vintage Crits Krieg. And a vintage Ubersaw. I went vintage here because they all sort of have the same colour text and I think it looks fun. And then we've got the Surgical Survivalist, the Virus Doctor in terms of the Robo Cosmetic. But to be honest, doesn't really look that good. But there aren't really that many good medic Robo Cosmetics out there or many cosmetics that I think fit the Robo theme for MVM. So we're sticking with this for now and praying that something gets added next year. And then the Lavish Labware, just because it looks a bit more formal, a bit more rugged for the uh the vibes we're going for for mvm okay and i'll move on to the sniper and this is my first sniper loadout is the crocodile man grin rocking the festivized huntsman but we'll change it out to the uh, sydney sleeper when and if needed the dolman's danger shield crocodile the trail man's shiv crocodile the five month shadow not exactly crocodile but still fun the crocodile dandy crocodile the wild brim slouch crocodile now i do switch from the slouch to the uh, old snaggletooth on occasion when i want different crocodile vibes but this is the crocodile loadout and will not change for the foreseeable future and this is my main sniper loadout now for the longest time i've had an issue where i just couldn't see the razor back that has rectified itself now so it makes an appearance but we've got the hitman's Heatmaker, the strange razor back and the troubleman's shiv along with the down under duster the saxton and the Metro Man. Honestly, just a very solid looking sniper loadout. Vibes are cool. It's like a cool cowboy with a sniper rifle. I think he looks fun. I think he looks cool. To be honest, all you need in a loadout. And then we go from cowboys to spacemen as we look at my third sniper loadout. Rocking the shooting star, which is just a different coloured machina, realistically. Looks cooler than the machina, though. I just love the vibes of the fucking shooting star, man. Like this retro space vibe is it's what I'm about. And then we've got the Strange Professional Yushanka, the Strange Final Frontiersman, which I did unbox, and then the Starduster, which is just a very, very cool sniper cosmetic to create this very cool space futuristic bounty hunter looking fella. Very fun. And finally, my MVM sniper loadout. Don't really play much sniper on MVM, to be honest, but this is why he's rocking. Got the rugged rags, which I recently unboxed. But yeah, he's like a military man, which is why he doesn't have a robo cosmetic. Got a head hedge to camouflage himself in two cities. <laughs> The Rugged Rags and then the Handsome Hitman, which is a very, very nice looking sniper cosmetic. We're rocking the Heatmaker. I don't really know what the best sniper rifle is for MVM, but with the Heatmaker you can do the um, focus where you don't have to unscope, so maybe that. Um, the Festive Jurati for those mini crits, and then the Shiv for that bleed damage. Um, robots don't bleed, but they do. You know what I'm saying, don't play sniper on MVM, but this is what I'd be rocking if I did. And then finally, the Sneaky Frenchman. The Spy. This is the uh, Observer loadout, if you remember that meme from a few years ago, where you just stood around holding the red tape recorder like you were observing what they were doing. Um, so the weapons don't really matter here, apart from the cloak and dagger and the red tape recorder. But yep, it's the Shutterbug, it's the upgrade, and it's the vintage camera beard. I just keep it here for old time's sake. That was a very fun time in the TF2 community, so he stays there. And then we move on to loadouts that I actually use, which is the, the second Spy loadout with the big kill, the bot killer knife. Only killed two medics this time, and obviously that strange cloak and dagger. Yeah, we're rocking the hat to kill for, the glamorous reader's choice, and the turncoat. Very solid looking spy cosmetic. He does look like a rich American from like the 50s, which I also like, with the wide brimmed hat and the uh, long coat. But yeah, I just like the vibes of this solo loadout. I think it looks cool. And the big kill is just very funny. <laughs> like, why is it so big? <laughs> why is the gun so big? It reminds me of that 
scene from one of the uh, classic Batman films where the Joker pulls out an absurdly long revolver. I just love it, man. And then my secondary spy loadout. This did go through a recent change. I'll let you into a little secret there. But this is basically stock spy with the cloak and dagger and the red tape recorder. So not really stock spy, but you know what I'm saying. We've got the turncoat, the cold blooded coat and the Hamburg. Honestly, combining the turncoat with another sniper jacket is one of my favorite things to do because it creates these really cool looking cosmetic sets. And again, he looks like a rich American fella. Again, he looks like a very distinguished rich gentleman. And that's the vibe I try to go with with my spies. On the complete other end of the spectrum with the same loadout, it is the MVM spy who does not look like a rich gentleman one bit. <laughs> Instead, he's gone for a more tactical vibe with the macho man, the tactical turtleneck, which I absolutely love. And then the deep cover operator, just for that added tactical vibe. Yeah, tactical spy for a tactical game of MVM, even if I never play him at all. So yeah, those have been my TF2 loadouts for the year 2023. Quite a few changes in there, to be honest, that I didn't really expect. But I'm very happy with the loadouts that I've created. But there are definitely some changes that I want to make coming into the new year that I'm going to look at putting into motion. Um, so you'll see by next year whether those changes actually came to fruition or if I just forgot. Probably going to be the latter option. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Tell me down below what your favourite loadout was if, if you want. I'm not forcing you to. You better fucking do it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a brilliant new year. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch, can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.